Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug named naproxen. About naproxen is a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug NSAID used to treat pain, menstrual cramps, and inflammatory diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, gout, and fever. It is taken orally. It is available in immediate and delayed release formulations. The onset of effects is within an hour and lasts up to 12 hours. Medical Use Naproxen is used to treat a variety of inflammatory conditions and symptoms that are due to excessive inflammation, such as pain and fever. Inflammatory sources of pain that may respond to naproxen's anti-inflammatory activity are conditions such as migraine, osteoarthritis, kidney stones, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, gout, ankylosing spondylitis, menstrual cramps, tendinitis, juvenile idiopathic arthritis, and bursitis. Naproxen sodium is used as a bridge therapy in medication overuse headaches to slowly take patients off other medications. What is? Ankylosing spondylitis is an inflammatory disease that, over time, can cause some of the bones in the spine vertebrae to fuse. This fusing makes the spine less flexible and can result in a hunched posture. If ribs are affected, it can be difficult to breathe deeply. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis, affecting millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the protective cartilage that cushions the ends of the bones wears down over time. Although osteoarthritis can damage any joint, the disorder most commonly affects joints in your hands, knees, hips, and spine. Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is an autoimmune and inflammatory disease, which means that your immune system attacks healthy cells in your body by mistake, causing inflammation, painful swelling, in the affected parts of the body. RA mainly attacks the joints, usually many joints at once. RA commonly affects joints in the hands, wrists, and knees. In a joint with RA, the lining of the joint becomes inflamed, causing damage to joint tissue. This tissue damage can cause long-lasting or chronic pain, unsteadiness, lack of balance, and deformity, misshapenness. RA can also affect other tissues throughout the body and cause problems in organs such as the lungs, heart, and eyes. Gout, it's characterized by sudden, severe attacks of pain, swelling, redness, and tenderness in one or more joints, most often in the big toe. An attack of gout can occur suddenly often waking you up in the middle of the night with the sensation that your big toe is on fire. Bursitis is a painful condition that affects the small, fluid-filled sacs called bursi that cushion the bones, tendons, and muscles near your joints. Bursitis occurs when bursi become inflamed. The most common locations for bursitis are in the shoulder, elbow, and hip. Dysmenorrhea is the medical term for painful menstrual periods that are caused by uterine contractions. Primary dysmenorrhea refers to recurrent pain, while secondary dysmenorrhea results from reproductive system disorders. Both can be treated. Tendinitis is inflammation of the thick fibrous cords that attach muscle to bone. These cords are called tendons. The condition causes pain and tenderness just outside a joint. Contraindications Hypersensitivity to naproxen, history of asthma, nasal polyps, 
rhinitis, angioedema, urticarial or other allergic type reactions after taking aspirin, ibuprofen or other NSAID, active peptic ulcer or gastrointestinal bleeding. History of recurrent gastrointestinal ulceration or bleeding greater than or equal to two distinct episodes of proven ulceration or bleeding, chronic dyspepsia, severe heart failure, and treatment of perioperative pain in the setting of coronary artery bypass graft surgery, severe renal, creatinine clearance less than 30 ml per minute, and hepatic impairment. Pregnancy, third trimester, and lactation. Special precautions Systemic lupus erythematosus, mixed connective tissue disorders, uncontrolled hypertension, mild to moderate congestive heart failure, established ischemic heart disease, peripheral arterial disease, cerebrovascular disease, recent myocardial infarction, risk factors for cardiovascular disease, for example hyperlipidemia, diabetes mellitus, smoking edema, liver cirrhosis, dehydration, hypovolemia, coagulation disorders. Patients receive corticosteroids, anticoagulants, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or antiplatelet agents. Drug interactions may reduce the therapeutic efficacy of antihypertensive agents, for example angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, beta blockers, angiotensin to receptor blockers, and diuretics, for example furosemide, thiazide diuretics, may increase the risk of renal impairment with ACE inhibitors or angiotensin to receptor blockers. Increased plasma levels and prolonged half-life with probinacid may increase the plasma levels of lithium, methotrexate, and digoxin may increase the nephrotoxic effects of cyclosporin and tacrolimus, may reduce the effect of mifepristone, may increase the risk of hematological toxicity with zidovudine. Concomitant use of antacids, cholestyramine, and sucralfate may delay the absorption of naproxen. Side effects L. Gastrointestinal intolerance, rash, bruising, and heavy use are associated with an increased risk of end-stage renal disease and kidney failure. Brand names that are mostly prescribed by doctors. Naprosin, Naprin, Xenarcr, Naxdem, Naproxin with Domperidin. What should be avoided while taking Naproxin? Drinking alcohol may increase the risk of gastrointestinal side effects. Combination Naproxen with Domperidone Naproxen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, that works by blocking the release of certain chemical messengers that cause pain due to migraine. Domperidone is a prokinetic which works on the region in the brain that controls vomiting associated with migraine. It also increases the movement of the stomach and intestines, allowing food to move more easily through the stomach. Dosage Should be taken with food. Please note for all the following indications, doses are expressed in terms of naproxen base, each 200 mg naproxen base is equivalent to 220 mg naproxen sodium. Use the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible duration based on individual patient treatment goals. Elderly, use the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible duration. Oral Ankylosing spondylitis, osteoarthritis, Rheumatoid Arthritis Adult As a conventional tablet or oral suspension, 500 to 1000 mg daily as a single or into divided doses. As effervescent tablet, initially, 
250 mg two times a day, adjusted to 500 to 1000 mg daily into divided doses. As a delayed release tablet, 375 mg or 500 mg two times a day. As extended release or sustained release tablet, 750 mg or 1000 mg once daily. In patients who tolerate lower doses well, doses may be increased to 1500 mg daily for a period of up to 6 months if required. Acute gout As a conventional or effervescent tablet or oral suspension, initially, 750 mg followed by 250 mg 8 hourly until the attack subsided. As extended release tablet, initially, 1000 to 1500 mg once daily, followed by 1000 mg once daily until the attack subsides. Acute musculoskeletal disorders, bursitis, dysmenorrhea, tendinitis. As a conventional tablet or oral suspension, initially, 500 mg followed by 500 mg 12 hourly or 250 mg 6 to 8 hourly as needed. Maximum 1250 mg on the first day, then 1000 mg daily thereafter. As extended release tablet, initially, 1000 mg once daily may be increased to 1,500 mg daily if needed for a limited period, then reduced to the usual maximum dose of 1,000 mg daily. Mild to moderate pain As a conventional tablet or oral suspension, initially, 500 mg followed by 500 mg 12 hourly or 250 mg 6 to 8 hourly as needed. Maximum 1250 mg on first day, then 1000 mg daily after. Alternatively, as 220 mg naproxen sodium conventional tablet or capsule, initiate at 200 to 400 mg 8 to 12 hourly as needed. Maximum 600 in a 24 hour period or 400 mg in any 8 to 12 hour period. As extended release tablet, initially 1000 mg once daily may be increased to 1,500 mg daily if needed for a limited period, then reduced to the usual maximum dose of 1,000 mg daily. Child greater than or equal to 12 years as 220 mg naproxen sodium conventional tablet or capsule, same as adult dose. Fever Adult, initially 200 to 400 within the first hour, followed by 200 mg 8 to 12 hourly as needed. Maximum 600 mg in 24 hour period or 400 mg in any 8 to 12 hour period. Child, greater than or equal to 12 years as 220 mg naproxen sodium conventional tablet or capsule, same as adult dose. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis Child greater than or equal to 2 years, doses are expressed in terms of naproxen base. As conventional oral suspension, 10 mg per kg daily into divided doses at 12 hour intervals. Maximum 1000 mg daily. Mechanism of Action As with other non-selective NSAID, naproxen exerts its clinical effects by blocking COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes leading to decreased prostaglandin synthesis. Although both enzymes contribute to prostaglandin production, they have unique functional differences. The COX-1 enzyme is constitutively active and can be found in normal tissues such as the stomach lining, while the COX-2 
to enzyme is inducible and produces prostaglandins that mediate pain, fever, and inflammation. The COX-2 enzyme mediates the desired antipyretic, analgesic, and anti-inflammatory properties offered by naproxen, while undesired adverse effects such as gastrointestinal upset and renal toxicities are linked to the COX-1 enzyme. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get video updates.